of this. And uh, my mom and Burrow went over to the, I think it's called the Gold, not the Gold Coast, the Palms. They got up really early. You know me, I sleep in. So I'm here all by myself. I had a nice sleep in, a couple of cups of coffee. And so I thought Saturday is going to be cleaning day around here. I've just decided. It's so nice out. So there's the garbage bin there. So I'm going to go and pee the garbage and all that I've got a garbage bag. And then I want to show you, I made a makeshift mop. So I just swept the floors. But there's no like scrub mop. So Burl brought over some things for us, but she brought this old hand towel. So I just tied it, I soaked it in cleaner water, and I'm just tying tight knots on either end, and I'm gonna use it as mop. I wouldn't give a hoot about cleaning up, but that just bugs me. There's just some spots on the floor for my shoes and stuff, and see how it's working. Whoops, oh well. How about I just do that? I'll just push it around. I'm not getting down on my hands and knees. That I'm not doing. But I'll figure this is what I decided to do. I used to do this at home. This is my foot. And you also get some exercise. But it's just for these little, you know, little spots on the floor. Yeah, that's working good. Even when we go camping, Richard always laughs, even if we're in a tent, I have to clean the floor, sweep the floor out, and I don't know, I think it's just our human kind of nesting, I guess, cleaning your little nest, like a birdie. Okay, I'm not going to do it everywhere, but I'll take it to the kitchen, and maybe the bathroom floors. I don't know if these floors were cleaned that well because I noticed yesterday when I got in the shower that there was, uh, my feet were really dirty and I hadn't been barefoot. That little thing looked like a bug but it's a piece of plastic from when I was cutting my tags off my shirt. There's not a bug in sight here. It's weird. No flies. See, we, when you live in northern Canada, when it is um, warm, you have mosquitoes and black flies. Nothing. Not even a... Nothing. So weird. And spiders. I don't know where the little critters are. But that's fine by me. See, I'm getting a little out of breath. Because it's a good little workout. Just a scrub, a scrub, scrub. And then you know at least the floor has been hit, as they say. Ugh. Can you believe I'm bringing you along with me while I wash the floor? But nobody's here but you guys and me. So, let's go around the table. It's just I know it's clean, you know. Whew. <laughs> this is better than aerobics. I'm actually working up a little tiny bit of a sweat. Yeah, I started washing the floor like this when my kids were little after I had my spine fused because it was just so hard bending down. Ugh. But usually Richard does the floors at home. And he always has and always he's always wanted to. He always has. So it's not uh, that he's doing it because he's helping me out, although he is helping me out. He says he finds washing the floors very meditative. So yeah, I'll get this floor done. So now I'm just gonna take some clothes out of the dryer I threw in yesterday because we went to play bingo. And in Canada, there are so few places that are smoking. Things are all cleaned up. See, I'm gonna go up there and do some life cues. Laundry's all done. My room's all clean except for my purse. Bathroom's all clean. I'm all dressed. 
So I'm going to go outside and do some life cues. I've been listening to um, this uh, CD by C.C. Winan. Oh, I'll put the name in the description box. It's beautiful. It's just so beautiful. It, and it's funny, when you're sitting by yourself, not that I'm not by myself at home because, you know, you're Richard's at work and everybody's busy. But it's different when you're in a different city. Like, because you really are by yourself. You can't pick up the phone and phone anybody. I can use my cell, but it'll cost money. And so you have a lot of time. Like, you have, you have a day to think. I'm putting this towel on this chair because it's cracked. And, uh, yeah, just because I can. So listening to that music is so cathartic for me I can't even tell you I've told you guys this in other videos before that um, for me listening to music it brings out every possible emotion and it's not that I'm sad or anything but it just I'm processing eight different things in my life and it's I wish everyone could just get away because at home you're home and you get stuck in the rat race or whatever you're going to do and get on the phone and making supper and doing all that stuff. But here, it's like I'm on a retreat when my mom's not here. And God bless Burl, oh, her best friend here. She's been staying here with us. She lives here, just probably three miles away, but she stays here with us. So it affords me the opportunity to just have me time. And it's fabulous. I just love her. She's so sweet. And, you know, getting to talk to someone that is that wise and intelligent. She's 86, but sharp as a tack, but just has so much wisdom to share with me. And I'm just soaking it all in. And it's just, it's almost like, because my mom can't do that, she's doing that. And it's, I don't know, it's just really nice. So, I'm good to art girl here. So you guys better stay tuned. Here's some sneak peeks. This one went up today. What is your pet peeve? And this one's a sneak peek for next week, but don't look. So yeah, I better go because there's lots of air traffic around here. A little lunch. I saved these quesadillas for my supper last night. Everybody takes doggy bags home in Vegas because there's so much flipping food. Every single person has two or three of these containers when they go home. So these quesadillas are giant. No, I'm so big. Who can eat this? I had these and a bowl of soup, but I mean, four of them in a bowl of soup is a bit much. So I'm just going to zap them. Great thing about a, this condo, again, you can just, um, it's like you're at home. So, I mean, we haven't had to buy hardly anything because all the food is here and dishes and everything so yeah yeah i'll just have my quesadillas from yesterday i'm just responding to linda lapotka you're asking me if i hold my camera in my hand when i'm vlogging in this video it's going to be so shaky you're going to know because i was watching the floor and doing all this and it's kind of obvious that it's in my hand but yes I do that's what I do you just get used to it it just becomes this um, extension when you're uh, vlogging it's just kind of trying to figure out how to turn this thing off um, hmm. uh, I don't know I can smell the well it's off good ooh man that was hot. I should have taken it out of the styrofoam. Because look. That's hot. My grandsons would love this place because the train goes by every day. And it's really loud and you're kind of close. But it's fun. I love trains so it doesn't bother me. But they would think this is pretty darn nifty to be on this level here, looking right at this big train that's roaring by. Let's see how long it is. This 
one looks pretty long. Kind of cool. And I'm one of those people, I know it's probably a bad thing to say, but it's probably the artist. The graffiti on the trains, I think it looks fabulous. And I'm glad they don't take it off because I know it's against the law, but are they hurting anybody? And look, that looks way prettier than that one does. I think they should be, le it should be legalized because it's not hurting anybody. Or make them pay for it or something. I don't know. I love you, Aisha. I love you, Aisha. Aww. What if it said, I love you, Monica? I would be like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh, look at those flames. See? It's artwork. It's like an art show. Look at the pumpkin. Obviously done at Halloween. I know when we were at home, there's a lot of, um, well, four or five different art, artist renditions of my father in, in, you know, when he played football, like there's um, outside art at different parks and photographs of him in, in significant places, and someone came and um, painted over that art and did some kind of, like, that graffiti stuff. And it was an outrage. I mean, the city, it was all over the news and the paper and the television. And they wanted to talk to me about it, my brother. And um, I didn't mind the art that they did. But what I did mind is when you don't respect another artist's work. I think that's like the biggest um, taboo. Even graffiti artists, I'm sure that's the big. You never paint over another artist's work. That's what I didn't like. So then it was so cool. These young students, art students, came back and redid my dad's picture. And it was really neat. So my lunch is cooled down now. So I'm going to go eat my yummy quesadillas.